This is a new vehicle that Zap is selling called the Zebra. It's a three wheel, all electric vehicle. It goes about as fast as the scooter, about the same range. They have various body styles. This is the mover version. They actually have solar panels you can get to put on top of these to extend their range. This registers to the DMV as a motorcycle because it's got three wheels and it's under their max weight, which I think is 1,500 pounds. Because it has three wheels, does it get squirrely? Because of its speed limit, no. it should drive just fine. I personally prefer, they call it a reverse trike. So it has two wheels in the front and yes. one in the rear. They drive more like a regular car. They've put some good stuff in here There's to the make them. It's, the, it's a, like a gasoline fluid, but mm -hmm. inside, get a recharging plug. They're, they're pretty the cute picture. vehicles. We have it here because the customer bought it. We're going to hot rod it. That's mainly what we do here in the shop. What we're going to be doing to this one is putting in a larger motor and controller. That'll make it go faster. Maybe add in some more batteries to give it a higher voltage, which will also increase the speed and power of it. It's using lead acid. Um, yeah, and then this is the controller that will run all of the power electronics. So the motor, which is this guy right here. So this is their charger right here. So when they plug their house line into this, then it turns on this charger, which charges these batteries here. It'd be about a 100 amp hour battery. These are 100 amp hour and they're pretty heavy. That's the thing that gets a lot of people when they use lead. As you have more and more capacity, you have more and more battery weight. A lot of times in conversions, you want to try and keep it close to stock weight. When you take out the motor, you lose a few hundred pounds, but you're putting in a few hundred pounds of batteries plus a motor. So you're going to replace this motor here? We're going to replace this motor and replace the controller. That should give us more power to get this thing moving. There is a transmission. Some people use direct drive, some people like to put in a transmission. It kind of depends on application and how fast you want to go. Like with our motorcycle applications, we just have a single drive gear and we calculate what the top speed's gonna be and that's how we choose what set of sprockets to use. Gearing will definitely enable you to go further and faster. In a uh, transmission vehicle, would you have a clutch like you would in a gasoline? Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you're kind of doing your in-home conversion and you get the adapter, um, you'll still use your clutch. You take the clutch and clutch plate off of your old motor and you attach them onto the new electric one and you still get to keep all your gears. I don't see any shifter in this. No, this is fully automatic. So there's no flywheel. The flywheel goes with the the gasoline engine, right? Yeah, they do sort of have a flywheel. It's just to mount the clutch onto it though. Mm. So usually when you're doing that sort of conversion, um, you don't want to use an automatic because it doesn't shift at the correct points for the electric motor. Also, you usually don't ever use first gear because it's just too low. Just too low. Yeah. yeah, there's so much torque, torque in an electric yeah. motor that you can start in second or third, no problem. AC motors and DC motors. Could you describe the benefits of each? The, the way that they say it works is um, AC will give you regenerative braking if you have the right controller, but it's also supposed to provide you better power. DC motors are mainly used right now because they're inexpensive. That's a drawback with the AC is they're still fairly expensive because not a lot of people use them. There are also ones called SEPEX, stands for separately excited. It has to do with the electrical field in them. They work more like AC motors because you can get regen from them. They also are more efficient with energy because you aren't running the same amount of power through everything, but just a part of the motor, half of the motor has less of a current draw. The DCs also will give you more torque. That's kind of a trade-off that people think about. Well, do we go with the AC for better efficiency? Do we go to DC because we want to push something really big? In so the SEPEX would... SEPEX is kind of the best of both the worlds. The best of both worlds because your batteries mm -hmm. are DC. Otherwise, you have to invert to AC if you want to run. Yeah, the issue is that the controller costs, you know, two or three times as much as the DC equivalent. The future is probably going to have people switching to AC. Most of the production vehicles are AC motors. So a uh, uh, Prius is running AC motor? Yeah, and uh, you know the new Tesla Roadster is an AC motor. They have the big bucks and obviously can afford that stuff. But I do see that that's where it's going to go. 